Hello everyone and um, welcome back to another video. In today's video we are back with a gacha life or drawings into sims. And today's character is known as Lisa. So I already done a Lisa before called Lisa Crider, but this is a complete different Lisa. And let's get talking about her. <laughs> Pre warning just to say this can contain a bit of like I guess sad backstory, so just to warn you. Um, Lisa was hated by her parents, so they sent her to live with her grandparents. So most of her life, well half, like, I guess when she was like one or two, she was looked after by her grandparents, but of course her granddad was ill and they couldn't look after Lisa anymore. And Lisa's mother fell pregnant, is what I'm reading now. Sounds like she sat, um, she fell pregnant with Daniel, who is Lisa's younger brother. So both of them was put up for adoption. Lisa and Daniel was adopted by Ayaka's parents and Ayaka will be in the next video because I wanted those two to be like in a close, like close to close videos. So yeah, Lisa does not get along with Ayaka, but Daniel does and loves Ayaka. So you might be thinking, oh, isn't Ayaka from Genjin Impact? Yes, but also in my comic, I have a character called Ayaka because yeah, I just do. I kind of just like the name from Genjin Impact and I kind of just took it. But yeah, I didn't really, fun names are so hard and I wanted like unique names and I guess like, you know. Um, so with Lisa though, I gotta admit, I think, with Lisa and Ayaka's relationship there is just jealousy that is all it is it's just jealousy even though they both have different parents I think they both feel like one's prettier than the other even though they're both equally pretty in my opinion um Lisa hates Ayaka Lisa is secretly a vampire hunter she doesn't kill she tracks them for be other people to kill so Sorry about that, my reading absolutely sucks. But my <laughs> plan with Lisa is, Lisa is like a hacker kind of person. So if you play Honkai Star Rail, you will know that like, a hacker um, character in it. And her name is called Civil Wolf. And I kind of took, well actually I was, I think I made Lisa before. But the hacking storyline, I've always liked the idea hacking to be honest it's weird because i'm not actually very computer i don't really like computers that much but for lisa i just like the idea of her like hacking and like you know just like sneaking data from like companies that are not supposed to be there this um side note now or is kind of also talking about abuse so if you don't like anything like that please click click off or skip um, so when Lisa was younger, her mother mainly used to beat her and hurt her technically, like in a physical way. So that's why Lisa has a plaster on her cheek. Unfortunately in The Sims, I couldn't find any plasters because not many people do plasters or whatever I've seen. So yeah, also I um, apologize because that hat is actually glitching and honestly, no, I don't like that. I didn't like the hat glitching at all. But that's the only closest hat I could find because I couldn't find any other hats. Um, so, also, if you didn't want to know her birthday, her birthday is May 27th, making her a Gemini. So, she's a Gemini. Um, Ayaka is September. So, they kind of, I think, so, Ayaka's older than um but yeah i actually do like this character a lot um with the company things of her hacking she mainly hacks into like i have like this mafia type of feet like vibe to one of the groups but they're not actually they're called the killer mafia but they kind of like the mafia but in if you watch bungo stray dogs i kind of just like like the idea of like that sort of mafia type of thing because i actually don't really know much about it until i watched that bungo stray dogs and i was like oh i like that but i t also it's like kind of like tokyo avengers because there's like 
you know gangs is technically like just gangs that's like all that it is um so i did kind of take the idea from different animes as well because all different tv programs but i'm not really sure of any gang tv programs to be honest i don't watch any like much tv anyway so with um lisa's outfit oh my god i didn't actually know there was like a top in i think it's uh get together pack there's like this top and it was like perfect almost except there was a long sleeve but on like i didn't even know that even existed in the game like i used to wear it all, like i used to put all my sims in it like years ago and ever since i found cc i just completely forgot about it so you know um with the character though i had to redo her twice because the first time i didn't actually like her um i don't really know why i didn't like her but you know there is like some story i guess i didn't i don't really know i just she didn't like hit all my like favorite things so i didn't really like it so i had to redo it and if you haven't noticed i've been part of all my characters knowing this dressing gown from spa day pack and i gotta admit it it does help a lot um <laughs> lisa in my opinion though is my favorite i gotta admit she's a good character I, I think i say this about every character like they're all my favorites but my top if i had to say rank my characters to the top i think lisa would be about like fifth place in my opinion i think alice and Beto has a deep heart and like deep place in my heart um and then there's also another man who is in my <laughs> story but I, i'm not introducing him yet because I don't really know if I should introduce him because he's like a whole big plot to the story and a few men that I have made already they also have a big part in my heart I think I gotta admit I do have a lot of male for some reason I have a lot of male characters I was shocked like I was literally shocked when I saw that I was like oh I have so many male characters because I don't tend to, when it comes to male characters, I gotta admit, they are so fun to do. And especially like having like the like love triangle part of it or something like that. <laughs> so yeah, I was like shook when I saw, like when I was making my male characters and I was looking through them the other day and I was like, I have so many male characters. But I tend to make them all in gacha life, but I have started, I have done some art of men. To be honest, they're not the best looking. <laughs> but I will have to experiment with my art. And I, for the channel art, I don't really know when I want to start that because I don't really have the right equipment at the moment, so yeah. So I think actually in my, in my um, series, this comic book, I think um, Ayaka would be about like 15. 14 i think she'd be younger than alice and Beto, so she'd be about like 14 years old at the start so then she'd be 18 at the end and that'd be the same with ayaka so with ayaka and lisa i didn't really know what to do because i wanted them to be brought back in the high school series that would be the last series of my comic um like whole series thing um and do a love triangle so you know the two sisters well they're actually like half adopted sisters they're kind of like um ha like have this crush on this the same guy type of thing and then they have like this you know a little drama with that but i didn't know if i should do it in the main series because my personal opinion i think lisa just doesn't care about love like lisa just doesn't like Lisa doesn't want anything to do with love, to be honest. In my personal opinion, I just don't really think she needs a man when, you know, she's like that type of... Yeah, let me know your opinions and thank you so much. Thank you all so much for watching this video and see you all in another video. Thank you so much for your support. Bye for now.